Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 18, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us here on Etero where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll uh, start by looking at the, the at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we found support here at the uh, four. 20 exponential moving average, uh, roughly uh, 53,000, uh, 54,000, I would say, give or take. And since then, we basically rallied in an hour, trading at 58,368. Taking in the have all turned around for Bitcoin, and it looks like we are going to head towards these previous highs now. Um, so, yes, pullbacks towards the 20 have been bought into and also pullbacks towards the 50 and the bottom of the bullish band are buying into. We are in a uptrend in uh, Bitcoin and it just continues to defy all odds at this current stage. So pullbacks towards the 20, if we have any other, uh, most likely won't happen uh, for the next few weeks, uh, they most likely will continue to be bought into. Break below the 50, opens the door to the to break below the 20, opens the door to the 50 at uh, 47,798. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum still uh, also uh, pulling back uh, or rallying from the 20 exponential, but not rallying as much as, uh, for example, Bitcoin is. So we're trading at 1801 at this current stage. Uh, we did rally towards uh, 1926, only a few trading it days ago, and, uh, and then pull back. Technical indicators they are either flat or becoming bullish. MACD is bullish. Uh, says, uh, Sarcastic is crossing the signal line, uh, signal line now and becoming bullish. CCI is flat and the RSI is flat at this current stage. But the 20 and the 50 have been areas when this has basically been rallying from. So yes, at this current stage, it looks like we are going to grind to the previous highs here at 1920. Breakdowns from here could open the door to the 20 and the 50 moving average. So let's look at ADA or Cardano. So this just continues to rally. We are up yet again around 8% and trading at 1.3761. So this is basically a competitor to, to, uh, to Ethereum. And at the moment, people are betting on Cardano, as you can see. So we didn't have this gradual grind towards the bottom of the bullish band and then this absolutely massive move to the upside. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. We are still underneath 70. However, we are way outside of the bullish band and we have already started to pull back. So at this current stage, we could basically see this pull back towards the bullish band yet again, but that will probably take a few trading days. So we're running into resistant at the same place where we found resistant here in the past. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also found uh, support at the middle of the bullish band, roughly at 188, and now we continue this rally. So it has been moving really gradually uh, to when it has been these rallies until we get to the last part, and then it really takes off, similar to here and here, and also over here. But um, middle of the bullish band is holding, and uh, technical indicators are all turning around for Litecoin. We are most likely going to head towards the top of the Bollinger Band, which is roughly at 225. Breakdowns from here uh, will find support around uh, 197 and then around the 50 moving average at 183. So let's look at NEO. And as you can see, we also have taken off in this cryptocurrency rallied roughly 10% and now continue and then pull back. And now we are again rallying at roughly 10, uh, 2%. So technical indicators have all turned around for this, but we are significantly outside of the bullish band. And uh, yes, when you have these kinds of moves, uh, then you could see also major pullbacks. However, we did see that this cryptocurrency could go 
um, outside of the bullish band and trade outside of the bullish band for quite a long time before seeing any major pullback. So that is possible. If we continue rally from here, we'll most likely find uh, resistance around 50 and then 54, $55 range. Around this area here is where we broke down the last time. So otherwise, technical indicators have all turned around and it's becoming looking really uh, bullish for NEO. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, nothing really happened here. We did rally a little bit from the middle of the bullish band, but otherwise we are just at the same place where we have been for uh, quite some time. We have just been trading sideways. So we had this massive moving movement here in the beginning of February and then fell in the middle of February. And then we have just been in the middle of nowhere. Technical indicators, they are either flat or becoming fairly a uh, little bit bullish, for example, the stochastic and the CCI, but otherwise there's no real movement in this uh, in this cryptocurrency. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us here on Etro. The link is down below. You're welcome. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.